what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Straight out the gate. Protect black women is not just some trendy topic on social media. It is a way of life. It is a practice that should be mandatory for every decent black man. And anybody who believe in civilization, everybody should be in on this because black women are the backbone to society at large. Yeah, I said it. Black women are the backbone to society at large and their safety is regularly compromised by people, systems, and ideas that oftentimes make their existence painful, fearful, and potentially dangerous and deadly. We got to do better. Let me tell you something. You can't claim to hate black women and love your black daughter or your black mother. That's an oxymoron. But I get it because you're the second half of that word. You know what I see? I see when dudes, black dudes, go at black women and try to drag them, I see people who have low self-esteem. These are dudes who are emotional. They're very emotional. They're the same kind of dudes who troll. They're the same type of dudes who get in arguments with everybody on the internet. They got that girl in them. They hate black women because they want to be black women. Yeah. Protect black women. There's one such a guy who is putting his money where his mouth is. He's putting his life where a black woman's safety is in jeopardy. One man with the Twitter handle at Flow349 named Anthony is putting his money where his mouth is in terms of shielding black women from abuse. According to a report, a woman named Jennifer McLeggan moved into her Valley Stream Long Island home three years ago, and she has been catching hell ever since from her white neighbors, her racist white neighbors. So Anthony, stepped in and he has been holding guard for the last several days right outside of her house. This is what she said on social media. I bought the property when I was pregnant and this is the truth. The property was in bad shape. I'm trying my best to make every effort to clean the property. I've done my best to clean the property. I mow the lawn, when there's snow out here, I'm shoveling the snow by myself. I'm doing what I can to keep the property clean. I kept on noticing dog feces. I kept on noticing ticket ordinances from the Valley Stream Village town. I keep getting tickets. I keep seeing dog feces. I installed a camera here. I caught my neighbor throwing dog feces in front of my property. I took that video to court and I won a judgment. So haters don't like that. Haters don't like when you beat them at their own game. See how nasty they can be, fam? Who the hell just wanna handle dog feces if they don't have to? You see what I'm saying? Something up there. Ain't right. Something ain't right. So, 
At least there was one guy in the neighborhood who brought Anthony a piece he was sitting out in the car one night. And some guy rolled up and brought him a piece. What is it called? The journals, I believe. The journal. I think it's called the journals, the frozen pieces. He brought him one of those. And, you know, I didn't see him eat it or whatever. I'd be suspicious, but seemed like a nice guy. Seemed like he had good intent, but hey, you never know. Anyway, the guy came through and wished him luck, said, we with you, man, you know. Basically letting him know not all of them are like that. But you know what, fam? I appreciate what Anthony did. Sometimes you just got to do it yourself. But this ain't on Anthony, really. I mean, it's on him, but it's not really his job. I mean, it's his job, but it's not really his job. This is the police job. That's what they get paid for. This is the city officials' job the city council members' job. Their asses are the ones who are supposed to be making sure that their citizens are safe. The prosecutor, it's her job. Oh, we appreciate Anthony because that's what we gotta do. But we're not gonna just get just, we, we can't just sit back and wait on justice. Not us, not here. We got plenty of evidence to show that we're not going to get justice. Not any consistent justice. So we're going to have to get in here and, and do this thing ourselves. I wonder why they're not messing her with her right now. Oh, that's right. A damn strong ass black man standing by ready to go to war. That's why. Man. Then you got people say, well, why you want to live? Why do we always want to live where we're unwanted? What do you mean where we're unwanted? If you can afford to go and buy a car, a, a certain kind of car, and then people don't like it, do you say, man, I don't know why they want to drive a Mercedes Benz. I don't know why you want to drive that Rolls Royce. They don't want us having no Rolls Royce. Why are we buying the Rolls Royce? Why are we buying a Mercedes Benz? They don't want us having no Mercedes Benz. Why are we buying the Honda? They don't want us driving no Honda. Man, we be at this all day, every day. Let me tell you something. If I got the money, ain't nobody gonna stop me from living nowhere. I'm gonna live where I wanna live. Anywhere. That's what I'm going to do. People typically try to live in the best conditions that they can afford, the best home that they can afford. And around America, you got your pick because there are many nice places to live. Now, sometimes being black, black, you got to finagle, you got to finesse. You know, you got to do a little finessing because they have real estate agents. They have realtors out there who will purposely block. They're like, no, nah, we don't want, we're going to keep it like this. I'm not going to show the house to any blacks. I'm not going to show the house to any black people. I'm not going to show the house to these kind of people or these kind of people, you know? A lot of those realtors play those games. A lot of realtors play that play that game. Yeah. So people can say whatever they want to say. I'm gonna live wherever I want to live, and that's the end of that. Protect black women and the people who protect black women. Anthony, appreciate you, King. No more time.